Hi, all right, let's discuss this question. Expand one over four minus x squared up to the term in x cubed. Wow, this one you need to expand up to the term in x cubed. So, okay, you're going to rewrite this as in the form of four minus x with a negative power. Okay, negative two. So, but this you cannot start expanding. You cannot expand yet. Why? What's the reason? Because this is not one yet. Right? And this is a, not a positive integer. You cannot use the Pascal or binomial, or you cannot use binomial coefficient. You cannot use Pascal triangle. So you can only use uh, another form formula. So which is the one plus nb, right? So uh, this is four. So you cannot. So you have to take out the four, right? Take out the four. Then you have one minus with x over four. Everything to the power of negative two, right? Uh, so in four multiplied by you have four you will get back negative x double check. So then you have four to the power of negative two and also uh, one minus x over four to the power of negative two. This you have one over four square is one over 16. All right, uh, now you have in the safe mode. Hmm. This is safe now because why? Uh, this thing is as I mentioned earlier, this one must be one, right? So now you can start expand by using uh, the formula. So first you have to identify, uh, this one must be one. First, your, what's your n? Your n is negative two, right? And your b is negative x over four. So one over 16 bracket. Uh, so <coughs> you have to uh, key, you have to write one plus with and b right and b negative 2 the starting will be negative x over 4 uh, the and b then followed by the next term these two must correct so followed by uh, the next one will be negative x over 4 from power 1 it will become power of 2 right and write back the negative 2 and you add another bracket but you put minus 1 and divide by 2 factorial and plus with, copy back the same thing, means you copy back everything, negative 2, negative 2 minus 1, you just add another bracket, and for this, you copy back, become negative x over 4 to the power of 3, right? Then you have to be divided by 3 factorial, plus with, dot, dot, dot. So what is this you're going to add? You add negative 2, minus 2, from minus 1 become minus 2, right? So now uh, you have to very be careful while you using your calculator in evaluating uh, this number. So one negative negative positive. So x four, two two x over two, right? Okay, let's evaluate this by using calculator, right? So you have uh, negative two, right? Negative two negative 2 minus 1 right uh, then don't forget <coughs> bracket because you have negative 1 over 4 square right uh, so negative sorry right, negative 1 over 4 to the power of 2 right to the power of 2 All right, and here you have two factorial, two shift factorial. So negative two, negative two minus one, uh, negative two, negative two minus one, two factorial, negative one over four square. So pressing equal, you have three over sixteen, right? You have uh, positive three over sixteen x to the power of two. Uh, this question they wanted to uh, expand up to x cubed, so. <coughs> Now you're using the same thing here, you're pressing the button AC. So you're going for uh, this arrow here. You just add in the bracket that you want. So see this, you have negative two, negative two minus one, negative two minus two, right? So you just key in negative two minus two, or you just directly key in negative four, right? Negative two minus two. Okay, for this, you will change become uh, three factorial, three factorial. Okay, this bracket remain the same, just the power you change become uh, power of 3, right? Uh, become power of 3, so you double check again. So everything correct, make sure it's follow this. 
then you're pressing the button equal, you have 1 over 16, right? Uh, you have positive 1 over 16, x to the power of 3. Alright, uh, so now you're expanding this inside to the bracket, 1 over 16, plus with 2 times 16, right? It's 32, sorry, 32, plus with 3 over 32, right? 3, 16 times, uh, six, sorry, 16 times 16, 16 times 16 is 256, I think. Uh, 256, so 256 x to the power of 2, and 1 over 16 times 16, 1 over 256 x to the power of 3, plus dot dot dot. Okay, so now you have sure that your expansion for 1 over 4 minus x square for this, after you modifying, you expanding, you will get 1 over 16. Uh, plus with 1 over 32x, right? Uh, followed by 3 over 256x squared plus with 1 over 256x cubed plus dot dot dot. So this is your expansion which I put in the box so that you clearly know that this is your answer. Okay, before that, the question is also asking you to... Uh, state the value of x, the range of values of x for uh, the expansion to be valid, right? To be valid. So you can, uh, you don't use this as your b. Remember your b is this one, which you use this to start to expand uh, your b here. You take this b, the b, the formula is b less than one. Now, this is formula for interval of validity. So you negative x over four less than one, right? So you have 1 over 4 modulus of x less than 1. So modulus of x less than 4. x is between 4 and negative 4. So this is an interval for which the expansion to be valid. Means the value of x you can choose between uh, these two, right? So, okay. Mm, the question actually asking you to approximate something, right? Hence, uh, hence, find the approximation of 1 over 3.9 square. Uh, okay, let's do here. 1 over 3.9 to the power of 2. Right? 1.3.9 power of 2. Correct to 4 decimal places. Uh, you, don't, you don't straight away using calculator and key in this thing, you get the answer. This is not what they want. Uh, this is you using calculator, right? Now they want you to use this application. You apply this to get the value for this. Uh, use this expansion because they use the word hands, marker. Uh, you have to use this. So you try to simulate this. 4 minus what equals to 3.9. How to get 3.9? It must be 1 over 4 minus with 0 0.1 square, right? Are you agree with me? 4 minus 0 0.9. I'm asking you, 4 minus 0 0.9, is it 3.9? Yes, right. 0 0.9. So means that the x now that you're going to use is 0 0.1. Ah, this is the most important thing that you have to take your own x. You have to uh, find the value of x by yourself. So 0 0.1. So I'm going to substitute uh, uh, 1, 1 over 3.9 squared is the same as 1 over 4 minus 0 0.1. And I'm going to substitute into the, the right hand side here. And because here 0 0.1, everything here will turn into 0 0.1. So it'll be 1 over 16 plus 1 over 32, 0 0.1, 3 over 256, 0 0.1 square, and 1 over 256, 0 0.1 power of 3. Uh, so because you already write approximate, so you just write the value 1 over 3.9 square. So it's a little bit kurang. How many? So they want for four decimal places, right? Four decimal places. So you just give them four decimal places. One over 16. Okay, uh, helping in keen into the calculator. Two, five, six. Plus with one over two, five, six. Alphabet X shift cube, right? Uh, so if uh, you calculate uh, 0 0.1, Right, you calculate 0 0.1, you have 0 0.65, oh sorry, 
0.065 they want for how many decimal places four decimal places so you need another one is seven right 0 0.0657 uh, four decimal places right so this will be your answer so you can again this is a for, for approximate value right this is an approximate value approximate value so you can use calculator to double check uh, the, to get the exact value is it almost the same as the approximate value so you can key in one divide by uh, 3.9 to the power of 2 right 3.9 to the power of 2 you have uh, 0 0.06574 it's almost the same all right if you round off they are exactly the same right so means this is a good approximation it's a good approximation uh, so this is how uh, old time people doing mathematics right without the calculator they still can find the value of 1 over 3.9 square by using binomial expansion all right okay that's all for this uh, example